Welcome everyone to a Wednesday night edition of Squad Ops One Life event. Tonight we got Operation Scorpion Sting on Lashkar Valley. We'll be getting the U.S. forces versus the INS forces. A little quick situation brief. The U.S. forces have uh, been sent into an isolated village in the Lashkar Valley mountains. It's supposed to be a spot of insurgent weapons cache, uh, according to local leaders. Instead, uh, they found out that it was a trap. Now they're stuck in the village and they got to survive long enough for rescue. So it'll be a 60 minute op tonight. And uh, I think this is going to be pretty interesting. The U.S. forces can only move into certain grid coordinates. Uh, Echo 83, Echo 96, Echo 99, and Echo, or sorry, Fox 94. And uh, before we get over into everything else, of course, I'm Wilbur. And joining me tonight is Killer Man Time. What's going on, Killer? Well, I'm back from my two-week hiatus, and hopefully starting a different job at some point. Um, other than that, nothing really. Yeah, man, it's good to good to see you back out here. I miss having these uh, miss having these these uh, co commentaries with you. I really do. They were they're always fun. I think it's uh, I don't know. It just it just seems better, better options. Better fills dolphin. up the dead space. Yeah, it fills up the dead space. Better turtle, better dolphin, whatever you want to call it. And uh, for you all at home, let me post the op doc for you so you can follow along on what we're going to be talking about tonight. And looking at the op map, here's Lo uh, Lashkar Valley, almost said Logar Valley. Uh, you'll see in that blue area right there with the U.S. flag in the center, that's the area that the U.S. forces are going to basically be operating in and trying to defend this from the INS forces. And how they're going to be doing that tonight with loadouts is the U.S. forces are going to be getting one Ranger SL, one Ranger AR, one Grenadier, one Ammo Bearer, one Ranger AT, and one Ranger Medic. And a squad ops anomaly never really happens. Uh, they will be getting one marksman to spread across the platoon. No vehicles, no fob and logistics. Command support, they're only going to be getting one UAV. Or they can decide to get an additional UAV or a small supply drop. How about the insurgent forces? Ooh, the insurgent forces. We've got a... Uh... Got to bit the list off here. So starting with the infantry, we're going uh, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, one Medic, uh, platoon caches, uh, unlimited Raiders. Vehicles, they have two Dishki Techies, two Logi Techies, two, or 700 ammo, 700 build. Uh, fob and logistics, that's where it gets interesting. We have a Northwest camp with one fob, one mortar, and one hab. Echo 10 camp which is one fob, one mortar, and one hab. And then golf 10 camp, one fob, and one hab. Support, none. Yeah, this is... And, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, no, no, you go. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting op. How this is going to... We'll, we'll get into, like, the specifics here in a second of how this op is going to be run. It's not going to be particular... It's not going to be, like, a normal one-life op. Uh, and then commands for tonight over on the u.s side we'll be getting alpha guido in command for round one and his two ic is going to be nuclear twister following out the rest of the sls will be jack guardian and merrick how about uh ins well for the ins we're looking at wolfgang as command with his two ic being rose dragon and his three other sls being viper roman orc and raggy awesome uh and then like I was saying, like the U.S. forces, they can't leave certain grids. Uh, so they're going to have to survive for the 60 minutes, which will... It's not going to be a helicopter uh, exfil for them. They're just going to have to hold out for 60 minutes, and then the rest of the cavalry is going to come in and rescue them. Uh, U.S. may place AP mines. The U.S. can supply from supply drops and the ammo bags, but vehicle stealing is off, even though well, they don't get any vehicles but they can't steal the INS forces. Would you like to go over the INS uh, specialty? Uh, oh no. Oh no. 
Uh, shoot. I think I'm lost. All right. Well, they get two attack waves. So the, oh, first, yeah. the initial attack wave will come through. Uh, they'll be going through, they'll die, and then they'll respawn at one of the spawn points that you went over earlier. And then they get to do another attack wave. Basically, the U.S. forces have to survive two attack waves. So it's not a one-life op for the insurgent forces. It's only a one-life op for the U.S. forces. Uh, there is actually an option if the event admin decides that it's needed or if it's granted, they can have a third attack wave also. Uh, but one of the things, like, uh, they, they can't arm the drones with IEDs. Uh, the INS can place AP mines, a maximum of one, one per player per round. They can place unlimited AT mines, and then they can place IEDs, which are unlimited as well. They may not arm drones with IEDs, though. Correct. Cannot. Oh, and I just hit the wrong button. Yep, there we go. Now we're back. Yeah, they cannot hey, if my guy ammo, do that. Where they go? How's that? Is INS going over anything? Not really. Wolfgang's just kind of doing a general SL All briefing. Alright, uh, we're just waiting oh. on and SL3. Just kind oh, of yeah, he's still waiting. giving a run through on uh, platoon movements. Or possible platoon movements. Oh, all right. Uh, I think they are still splitting up. Uh, uh, gear for their uh, squads. All right, fuck it. We're going to start without SL3. Uh, all, right, guys, all right, here we go. Welcome. Platoon brief. So we are essentially isolated in this valley, uh, valley mountain town. We have INS forces surrounding us on multiple sides. Uh, we are without any direct support. However, High Command has tasked us with a UAV as well as possibly an additional UAV or supply drop as needed uh, if the uh, if it if the need arises. Uh, so we will be trying to get out of this bowl a bit by sending three of the four squads out to various nearby hills. Squad 1 under Jack will be heading southwest to set up on the hill on the helmet marker, getting eyes out to the south and southwest. Um, to the northeast will be Squad 2 under Nuclear. He's kind of going to be mostly watching the valley as well as watching the north and just kind of watching our, our flank up there, making sure INS forces don't possibly flank around and hit us from the northeast as well as covering across the valley if needed, if the two squads on the south break. Uh, that leads us into squad three, Merrick squad, which will be on the hill to the south, marked with the Lodgy mark. Uh, their job will be to also watch the south as well as southeast towards that little river valley. Uh, while that's going on, squad four, Guardian, will be predominantly in the town, uh, they will be acting as a last line of defense. Uh, additionally, they will probably have a buddy team sent out somewhere to the northwest edge of town and just getting eyes out to the northwest, which we are leaving relatively open because the terrain doesn't quite suit us as much. Uh, as the fighting goes on, we're probably going to take losses and push back. It's important FTLs uh, to know when your squad... If your SL goes down, it's important to know when your squad's taking too many casualties and to pull it back. We got enough room and there's plenty of buildings in the town. If your squad gets demolished and you're only a few people left, fall back to the town and set up as close as you can to the radio. Overall, pretty simple. We'll hold an exterior defenses on the hills and then we'll fall back as needed. Any questions? Expecting any vehicles? Unknown at this time, we have no information on INS forces. They could possibly have techies. They could have artillery. They could have mortars. They could have rocket arty. We do not know. So I expect pretty much everything and anything. We know Any other questions? We know there's going to be a lot of Should we go ahead and hit them as soon as we see them? Call it out? Ideally, yes, but I'm going to ultimately leave that up to your, uh, your SLs. 
Just know that it's better for you to shoot first and them to shoot first. And to be clear, are we just are we holding out and until like a timer or extraction or until they're all dead or what? We have to hold out. We have to hold out until pretty much the INS assault uh, dissipates. Roger. So that's pretty much it. it that matters is basically however many INS we killed. We we kill uh, enough INS, we blow back their, we beat back their assault, and we'll be fine. Otherwise, right. it's just gonna go on for in perpetuity. Uh, all right. Uh, at that, we're gonna break it out. SLs, brief your individual squads, and get set to move out to your locations. For a second, is like, oh, here we go, and we're live with round one, Operation Scorpion Sting. We're gonna be following the U.S. forces here. They're gonna be in blue. Killer Man will be following the INS both rounds, and uh, he'll be giving us giving us a I'm giving little the imbrief. sweet sweet juice on what the INS are doing. I do have yeah, one time doing sweet juice on of what right INS now. plan uh, on doing. I will call it in if nice. after probably five minutes if we don't have. Yeah, and it looks contact. like the U.S. forces are pushing up on both of the high ridge lines. Hopefully, they don't sh or silhouette themselves. Actually, I don't even know. Do they get silencers? Let's check Jack. He's an SL. Ah, he doesn't have his gun out. Uh, what's silent? Silent. He's a ranger. It's gonna happen really fast. If we can be ready. Nope. No yeah. silencer on that. Nah, I'm not seeing any silencers. So I guess it's only spec ops that get the silencers. And I see some red coming in. They got like a little bit of a gap. Uh, right where the INS forces are headed now in towards the valley. It looks like it might be hill to hill combat that we're going to be getting tonight. Usually we follow the attacking forces. Hey, two, aren't you pushing but up, buddy? I decided, you know what? Uh, we're going to get we're gonna on gonna that terrain. We're follow there. the uh, to defending it. forces of the US. It looks like they're at the big disadvantage of being stuck in a valley. Make it a little more interesting. Uh, I, I am not a bot. Yeah. Bad mortars, command. Bad mortars. All right. Should Where be going live now. Just got to extend the meters. All right. And we are back. Having a bunch of technical difficulties. All right. You want to uh, switch sides? Mm, let's just stick with the sides we've got. Okay. I will uh, switch over to the U.S. side next round. Okay. Sounds good. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I got to find out why OBS... Doesn't want to work for me. But now you got a picture. Yeah, a picture running at 57 frames. <laughs> Windows update just screwed everything up. Yeah, it did. I got mortar marks. Looks like INS has pulled back right, their attack. One more now for more for Roman, and then nuclear. You're gonna yeah, it does look like it. Copy. Um, at least on the northern side, the. Uh, west side, southwest side is, uh, they're still kind of butted up against this, uh, group of U.S. forces. Hey, two and four, are you doing any work on those guys down the valley at all, or is it just kind of stagnant? Uh, we're mainly, uh, focused on the guys, uh, across the ridge. Yeah, because uh, U.S. command has called up the UAV, so not in the and, uh, valley, no. pretty much knows where all of the INS forces are moving right now. Yeah, it looks like the, uh... Maybe the U.S. forces just dropped some mortars, trying to hit the uh, INS forces, and missed spectacularly. Before you do that, nuclear, what was the coordinates you had for mortars? You shouldn't have any mortars. I got two mortar coordinates. Yeah, U.S. doesn't get mortars. All right, then I don't know where those were. Hopefully, INS aren't calling well in mortars on themselves. Five nine, echo nine, five nine.
And you got Jack and don't get shot just sitting here on the edge of the ridge. Yeah, they don't want to move. They just came, uh, Jack just came across command net saying that they're dialing in mortars on them. They didn't want to put himself out there to say, hey, okay, we're missing them. They're right here. Yeah, that could cause some issues. Ahead and start Ooh, frenzy moving in. Fraggy, just keep on putting fire onto the frenzy. Those guys that are on the bridge to yourself. What are you doing? Oh, USSL. On how me. did he wait? Just killed... oh. how did you did not, Jack really not see? Was... How did frenzy not react faster? Ow. Oh, Ooh. there's a grenade. Maybe, maybe because Jack was throwing a grenade. Don't get or don't get shot through the grenade. I don't know. So, uh, I do not know. All I saw was Frenzy game. running up right behind him. Just got right up on him and didn't see him. Yeah, so keep having the one guys guarding you to the south. lucky you didn't get knifed. And then try to get eyes on to the buildings that... So we do have a couple members uh, on our uh, puppies that are uh, kind of grandfathered in as long as they maintain a mature attitude. Yeah, mature, 18 plus, 18 or older. Uh, Four is gonna come in behind you know, you know, high standards. That's kind of the thing that we do here at Squad Ops. Well, kind of have, you know, high standards of our community members. Or any, anyone who's gonna wear the clan tag, community tag, I should say. You know, gotta have good representation. You got Dashby making a rush up to uh, your nightmare. Six Nightmare's two, getting above the U.S. forces. We got any more engagements anywhere else with the uh, INS and U.S. right now? Nothing that I see at this time. Uh, looks like things have slowed down on the south. They're just kind of shooting at each other from a distance. Nothing, no big pushes. I mean, here on the on the uh, South Ridge, seems like INS is getting a pretty good foothold. I think the mortars have something to do with that. Mortars are accurate. Getting mortars. the foothold's great. Pushing and wiping out the U.S. forces is better, because they have a yeah. time limit, don't they? 60 minutes. Ooh, one hour. And we're sitting at uh, about 20 minutes now. So, guess we've got to hold out for another 40 minutes. Alright, it should be last flash. Alright, let's see. And INS does get two waves. That's true, that's true. Poor Lancelot trying to get himself off the ridge back towards his friendlies, and he's just has no idea where the uh, INS is. Yeah, yeah it's still first round. <laughs> yeah, it's still first. It, it's going to be a sixty two sixty minute rounds. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hey, Roman, At least 60 minutes. Valley kind of seems best Could you imagine if they just did in you know. a uh, no, full smokes for you. seven hours? For Don't start, say that. I hate you. You know what happens when you say things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they usually gets killed. Yes. Or it happens. Yeah, that too. God, a seven hour hop. Oh. Look, I'm used to sitting for a long periods of time, but oh, down goes Dan uh, Dash B via Lancelot. And D Lee coming up and takes out Lancelot. Alright. And they're gonna move on to the next three U.S. forces sitting on that ridge. Let's go and uh, do a float around, see what's uh, going on everywhere else. 
And as Wilbur stated, the INS forces over here on the north have pretty much dug in. They aren't really making a move anywhere real fast. And we've got some U.S. forces just set up in a staggered column. Not really a column, but they're staggered in lines going from the center of the uh, valley up to the ridge in the back. All right, three just went down. All right, four, this is going to be you. I'm going to smoke this out for you. Raggy, you're going to be putting a lot of fire down onto that town and possibly Cut. to the east of uh, three. Good cut. Oh, that'd be there's I'd be like, I'm going to start smoking out the town oh, yeah. and east of you. And it sounds like the right. INS forces are about to start west. smoking the town. From our west, four, squad four, nuclear cage. Hey, you check your south. We're not going to find anyone in there. Everyone's on the ridges. Well, I mean, there are a couple of U.S. forces in there. Uh, yeah, just command and... Oh, well, yeah, you take out command, you kind of do some damage. Orders command. Hey, you guys are gonna be putting fire once these smokes go out. Put fire on the town for four to three. Push in. Well, at the end of the day. Really, we aren't playing uh, role play. We're just kind of playing a game of military, game of chess. Who's got the better movement movements? Uh, I think the uh, more than just movements. Uh, a little uh, bit outside. This thing is a little off because of the player skill copy. comes in sometimes. Yeah, too. Hey, yeah. Advised, uh, uh, That's true. I'm a prime example of that. You can stick me in any position, I still won't be good at it. Echo nine. Echo nine, I feel you nine, on that one. Four. I'm in the same boat. And it looks like the U.S. forces are giving up the southwestern portion of the ridging. This is squad three on route. Yeah, it looks like they're they're pulling back a little bit, maybe Copy. to draw Echo the nine, INS nine, forces nine, out four. into the open Large and put the them field. down in the valley. It's well, it might work. On them. It might work. You've got Hedda and d -Leak headed down into the town, and I'm sure they've been spotted by the U.S. forces. Have they said anything? Nothing yet. They're still focusing on the ridge lines. Fantastic effect. Salty potato would just look it east. Is, uh, Break. I need a uh, border support. Yeah. Echo nine three nine. Echo nine three nine. This takes uh, number two. Sorry, echo three. Uh, echo, echo nine three three. Echo nine three three now. We're getting lit up from that uh, ridge line by two ARs that are emplaced. And it looks like they're gonna try and do something about the AR on the ridge line to the south. Forces coming downhill one at a time. It's a lot harder to see just one person right, well, than members, a yeah, whole guys. group, yeah. Scro yeah, a whole squad. The downside to it, though, is it takes a lot of time. And looking at the way the uh, U.S. forces are shaped, it does not look like they are reorganizing to 
combat possible enemies okay, inside their town. Keep on supporting uh, the guys pushing in. Uh, Just firing uh, onto the guys in the town. Make sure they're distracted. Oh, nope. They've called them out inside the side of the town. Well, finally. Yeah. And the Guardian looks made like, that call. Yeah. Scott, there's going to be taking the same Where's route. Guardian at? Oh. Oh, okay. So probably one of his team yeah, members uh, relayed it to him. And it looks like the rest of the INS forces are going to start making their way down the hill via the creek bed. So we're taking contact primarily from Echo 832. Echo 832. And Flicker and Lima Bean are making contact with yeah, some U.S. forces Those over here. Compounds that are clustered there, they're all in there. Ooh, trade off for Lion Bean and Myrrh. Got and Flicker being suppressed by the AR on top of the southern, southeastern hill. That's purple corgi. Got some more mortars coming in. Not uh, really doing position. much. Right, I'm gonna start smoking out a little bit more of this to help you guys push in. I mean, the INS forces have got yeah, them in a pretty good spot right now. They've pushed off the ridges for yeah, the most part, like except for this one squad up here on the uh, south ridge. Does, uh, Everyone else you, is down yeah, low. Start taking these yeah. Out, you guys will be good to hopefully push into those buildings on the northern side. Have they even started their second wave? Uh, as far as I know, I... Yeah, it looks like we've got some forces moving from the INS FOB. Uh, it looks like squad <sighs> one and three. But those might be forces pulling off from the yeah. northern side of the ridge. I haven't heard them call out anything about, uh... New wave. Enemy squad, Fox 916, Fox 916. Could possibly be. Yeah, I, I think that's probably a new wave coming in. They've got complete overwatch over the village. Sitting at 18 kills for the U.S. and 12 for insurgent forces. So, technically, the uh, objective is to eliminate all U.S. forces. If even one is still left standing by the time the time runs out, which is was 60 minutes when the event started. Uh, U.S. forces, by technical rights, still win. I could be wrong on that, though. Fact check me. Contacts, yep. Fox Truck. You're correct. One. Gotta eliminate all U.S. forces. Hey, one. If you still need smoke, go ahead and let me know. Copy that. I think we're okay for now. If I could get each E on the hold on. Command, do you want my squad three push into the east to clear out Foxtrot Nine? We have contacts in that area. Uh yes. Yeah, enemies are Fox Nine One Three. Fox Nine One Three on the ridge. Right, they can head are still in the thick of enemy contact with Boogie, Nuclear Twister, Chanka, and Tinkerbell coming up on them. Yeah, it's about to get real sticky for them. All right, go ahead with that again. Gonna get that spice. Fox 913. Fox 913. We're gonna get some salt in that wound real fast. Yeah, it looks like we got some uh, INS smokes dropping down in the center of town. Boogie's saying he's going to clear the compound like a boss. Let's see if he can do it. Man, I have enemy infantry at Echo They're going to place C4 down on D-League's uh, position. Oh no. That's cheating. Dealey, run. Oh, 
as he gets nuclear as he's running away. Ooh. D-League's still up. We got some small firefights going on between the US and the INS. Did he get boogie? Man, squad one no, he got tinker. Yeah, he didn't get boogie. I think it's been 20 seconds. I think... Does it, does it not explode after the person dies? No. Uh, did they ever get the timer on it working? Last I played, which was two weeks ago, um, I don't think the timer was working. They had to timer manually... I got two more. Oh, no. Two more missions, I guess. Who had the controller? Uh, nuclear did. Oh, the timer boy. doesn't work. And Boogie's just looking at it like, uh... uh <laughs> now they gotta go in. Uh, Alright, let's there. float around and see what's going on. Someone go in and on. check the timer. <laughs> on that C4. Oh, no. Oddball sending in a puppy to go right, and uh, take Dorf. <laughs> 169, balcony, left side. Bottom Alright, there's gonna be a smoke coming in on that same position. And then I'm Dwarf's got a really out. sneaky sitting spot right here. Hubbins moving up. Enemy contact on the outpost hill. Oh, Dorf takes down Hubbin. <laughs> Oddball realizing he has no grenades. Let's see what else is going on here. It looks like Guardian's been taken down by Silver. That's uh, USSL right there off the map. Fire in the hole. Nice. Grenade into Dorf's building, but no good. Saved by a wall. I think Always. You might have in the window. Watch that window. Okay, just get in those buildings. Find Oddball making a rush up and gets taken down by Dorf again. Two uh, up on the hill. Try to get eyes on that outpost hill. That there. All right, that, that leaves a uh, toaster waffle. Duster Waffle's the only one of the INS forces that's still in Dwarf's building. And is he gonna fall for the same trick? Probably not. I hope not. No, it looks like he's gonna hold in the bottom floor. Receiving possible in, reports of I'm hoping keep uh, the Dwarf there. 30 minutes out. Surprised Hun yeah, and Bartok haven't down, seen right, sinful uh, Arb right. and Block over here. Yeah. Oh, I did not notice this. The I INS forces that. pushed the uh, U.S. forces off the top of the ridge. So you want to to push into the town or hold the ridge? Oh, wait. Was that Boogie? Oh. Was Boogie on yeah. top of the ridge? Have those guys uh, at one point, yeah. Go to them and yeah, at one point. Okay. Ridge. All right, looks like yeah, Boogie is gone. INS forces doing a pretty good job of uh, wiping out the U.S. forces as they yeah, we're engaging them now. move through. The hard part is clearing these buildings because you're going to lose at least one or two uh, units pushing one room. Or in Dorf's case, three. Ah, uh, toaster. He tried to get... Did he yes, get taken he out by Money or Bigarago? He got taken out. Toaster Waffle got taken out by Dorf. Or are you talking about Boogie? Oh, uh, no, no. I was, yeah, I was talking about Toaster. Yeah, he got taken out by Dorf. Dorf sitting in the top floor of, uh, of the uh, far building on the northern side of town. And he's just got a, a sneaky little peek uh, through a doorway on the staircase. I 
I and S have got to clear out these buildings, and that is yeah. pain. It is. It's time consuming. Because if you go in there too fast, <laughs> you're gonna end up dying anyways. But if you go in too slow, you die also. No. It's east. Top right. Top right. I just saw. And the issue is, I've seen they're one at a time. You know, when I went through uh, basic, my first one, which is back in like 2018, 2019, um, they did a clearing uh, exercise, and they always told you go through in teams, two or more, because the first person who enters the room is most likely going to die. But the second person or third person has a chance of taking out the other per the uh, enemy contact. Correct. Yep, we're engaging him right now. First man in is always the first man to go. And Big Rago gets taken down by Imonez. Imonez. I keep calling him Imonez. There's no E. It isn't Imonez? No, it's Imonez. It's Shit. I'm oh no, OZ. I'm oh no. I have to remember that one so I continually <laughs> uh, screw it up. And they're just trying to take Dwarf out with a uh, Dishkateki right now. Not gonna happen. No nope. pen damage through the walls. It's a stone building. Not wood. Nuclear what? Twister just got taken out by someone. I'm thinking it was Meep 50. I think even then we'd still have a better chance of shooting north, otherwise we'll just get flanked. Hello, Eric. That's fine. Welcome so to the stream. To this town into these buildings. Yo, they fixed it. I know. I have no idea what Chicken's doing. I know. Yo. Yeah, See, I I'm not even getting updates on the chat. Oh no. You yeah, your your internet is uh. It's doing something. Chicken did a sneaky move to take out meat. Jumped up over a balcony instead of going through the regular doors. And Dorf takes down the dish Kentucky. It looks like the U.S. forces are pulling in on Dorf. <laughs> they are going to hard up in that portion of the town, aren't they? It's him and Money Man just tagging people one at a time as they come close. Just whoever has the loudest comms, just lead these guys into the buildings and try to find their HQ. Yeah, last chat message I got was, uh, what a turnaround. Yeah, like, this is... Like 20 minutes ago. Possibly inside those two yeah. Uh, this is currently still round one. Uh, command, uh, two is down to... Four strong. Our Charlie is moving into the village to try to take over. Robin's over. I don't want to call it your internet though, because then you would be losing uh, connection to the Discord. Go ahead and have those guys come off the hill. Yeah, or the game. Have them come down I don't know yeah. what's going on. I think it's. I'm gonna blame yeah. Windows. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's the easiest it's all, thing. It's, it's all Windows. Bill Gates' problem. It's his fault. There's guys in the second story. And see, they were touting that this would increase game performance. Maybe that's what I need to turn off, is that game performance thing that they said that you needed to turn on. Oh, is that on by default now? That might be causing some issues. No, I turned it on. I'm going to turn it off. And it's just INS forces dying left and right to both Money Man and Dorf. Hey, Guardian. Ah, uh, Wilbur's just having, you know, the general. Everything's going wrong today. Hey, see, hey. that message just popped up. Hey. And it looks like uh, Dorf is now the last one. Money Man got taken down. Not sure by who. I'm going to say hey, it was our hub. Trying to light our, up our buildings to the east of you guys right there. How do you pronounce that? They suppress them. I do have a 2080 Ti from that, uh, overclocked. Open. That's not what's going bad. Well, Alpha's we're taking. 
We're still taking fire from those no, two buildings that, northwest. That That's all we're taking fire even. from right now. Oh, the Fox well, I don't know. You okay. got overclocked? That might do it. So I've just gotta I gotta I gotta fix this because Dorf has lived too long. Yeah, Dorf, 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 Dorf. There we go. Just shot. Sooner or later he'll die. My guys are suppressing the buildings now. You guys are free to push. He's asking him to come in. I know. <laughs> come and knock on my door. But you we'll see his for you. Yeah, you see his position, right? That is just cheeky. As they come up the stairs, and there's no way for them to pin him. North, north, north. There's no, well, there's. North. I like might be able to us. see him just barely through the window. Yeah. No, not really. Ah, uh, this one. If, you go down, if someone go just lobbed a, a soft okay. grenade through this window on the Southwest eastern orders? side of the uh, building, they could take him out. He's got two coming up. North east side. And a grenade. He's concentrating on me, this guy. Oh, no, that's not gonna do any good. I can't tell. Now, it does bring some smoke up, so if you rush, never mind. Hopefully, my frag got him. <sighs> guy? Dorf, the oh. only man that can survive me saying his name ten times. Alright, I'm watching this first. Jesus. Floor. Wait, is this last man? No, we've still got Silas and a couple more. Uh, dotted all over the place. I think Lagger is, uh, having second guesses about pushing that. Oh, is Wolfgang gonna go for it? We never did mop those guys up. Yeah, we got, apparently guys are No, we are not about to see command for the INS push Dorf. We have no, yeah, we have guys to our north. Sound like they were closing in. Also, Guardian, you got taken out by a puppy. You guys have a medic up? <laughs> Thank you. No, I think. I shouldn't laugh. I probably, I probably do every time. <laughs> I, I have no room to say anything either. All right, Roman. I don't know if there's guys in the buildings in between us. I saw one guy run into the Most likely uh, there the is. Side. Our squad's still pushing to those fox trucks. Alright, we're leaks. gonna leave door for a second here. Uh, and see what's going on everywhere else. Looks like D Leak and Nightmare have moved up behind Silas and Merrick. Or is that just Silas? That's nah, just Silas. Merrick. You gnat. <laughs> we got Bartok. Horny Uncle Niner, Liberal Pundit, Hero Be Known, and Purple Corgi. And I just realized I said every U.S. force's name. Well, wait, I missed one. Salty Potato and Alpha Guido. There we go. Yes. Oh. Got command. I got him. <laughs> Someone just yeah. called out they got him and he's still alive. <laughs> uh. Oh no, what's the commander? And we're just now realizing that uh INS command just got killed. I think Lagger's gonna try to shoot him again. Got a shot on him. Nope. He runs off. Link up with the squad mate. I have no idea. Like, we're. Lagger's looking town, for a so shot on, in the window. I think we have to just clear it. No. That window. He's still alive. That's kind of hard because you're just hiding. Oh, no, oh, he, There he goes. <laughs> and he's still got a bandage, so he's good. I don't want to die. Someone's got to rush him. Lagar's <laughs> rushing him. He's still alive. He's inside. He's oh. Alive. Watch out, Bok, because I'm... No, Lagar, you, you're too late now. Down don't down. do it. Down here, northeast. Right above you. How does no one have any grenades? Uh, 
He used them all, pushing them off the hill. Just one grenade through this window right here without going out into the main room would have taken out Dorf. That's all it would have taken. Tiger's looking for him in the window again, but he's not going to see him Dorf repositioned, but he can still see up those steps. There's no one that can make off left. Perfect. Uh, that would be pushing it a bit. Because the issue with going on to a balcony in this situation is you have no idea where the rest of the enemy forces are. You never want to sit on a balcony in one of these ops. No. And what was that message that just came CFL through thrilled. from the uh, event just Avin? Just sweep this way and then we can rejoin on them. I did not uh, have a chance INS to have got to yeah. clear out all of the U.S. North. forces before the extract. Well, the way things are going, it looks like Dorf might be able to get that extract, like, on his own, just by sitting in this room. And then you've got a bunch of other U.S. forces just hiding in bushes all over the place. Oh, it looks like Horny Uncle Niner is trying to get up behind the INS forces uh, surrounding Dorf. Alongside Bartok. Wait a second, didn't Bartok die? Yeah. Bartok's still up. Oh man, the guy's still... Oh, down goes... Oh, Uncle Niner. D-Elite got him, I think. Fine. And Bartok gets d leak hey, Does Bartok have a lat? He does. Has he yes, used he it does. at all? I don't think he has. I feel like I've entered an alternate universe. A Bartok that hasn't used his lat yet. A dwarf that's holding a room very well. And Guardian died to a puppy. <laughs> Can I go back to my own universe now? And I can't stream shit. Down goes Bartok. Well, that's just... That's sad. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the way this is going to go is Dorf is going to be the last U.S. force alive in that building by the time Extract rolls around. I don't know, actually, we got Purple Corgi That's and... Yeah, Purple Corgi, uh, Hero Be Known, and Liberal Pundit are still on the Eastern Ridge alongside Salty Potato and Alpha Guido in the middle. This AKMS is dog shit. Or I'm just not good with yeah, it. Yeah, Jimmy, I don't... There's no point in even questioning whether or not Bartok has a lat or not. He has one. It doesn't matter what game. He has one. Yeah, you don't What's command up, or SL and then say, Oh, Bartok, you're not allowed to have the lat. No, you always want that guy to have the lat. There's four of us left. Yep, four. And we I think it's just to down to what Hedda and uh, your nightmare, no, we right? Just found the radio. Um, oh, there is a radio. No, we've got Block F sixteen, our Herb, uh, your nightmare Hedda, uh, and is there someone else here? Or is that a floating camera? That's a floating camera. Uh, yeah, it looks like those are the only four left. Okay, down to four. Are we going to have a hop, or we still have players alive on both sides? I don't know if we'll call that a success or a failure. Yes. <laughs> yes. That did Hello? not specify the answer, my friend. Hello? Building to building, I guess. Yes, have some. Yeah, I don't know. And the first person that dies, we know where they're at. And it looks like Block Polo. is now moving into Dorf's building. Polo. Calling out Polo as he goes. Oh! <laughs> is that his kill count so far? Yeah, he's at 11. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's another thing I haven't done since we started here. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter now, but... Yeah, we're uh, sitting at 
Twenty nine uh, kills for the insurgents and outside, I think. Well that's not right. Forty eight for the US? What? Yeah, forty nine, buddy. They got 49. the spawn ways, remember? Oh that's right. Uh, yeah. Now we're all AR. Fucking God. Why is <laughs> Nightmare's just getting pissed. Hold on, I'm about to try and peek this fucking window to see if I can see through it. I think admin just needs to go and like Ready? Have, In this you have to uh you have to attack that building and that's it. See how many right, dwarf can get or if they can yeah, get dwarf. He didn't die till he's up to the top of the stairs, so he's somewhere on a harsh I mean, corner. I think I might be able to see him and here, Nightmare actually. is the first one to call out he's sitting on a harsh right, corner right? right now. At the top of the stairs. Yeah. He's just shooting the shit in the window. The I don't know why they just don't go up and just light up the floor, like light up the window. ceiling above them. I know, right? I just thought about that. Wood floors, they can pin it. They could just, yeah. We have to they have the him. weapons to do it, especially Nightmare. He's got an AR. Just light the whole floor up. I'll push. Yeah, that you could definitely pin that floor. Here, let me talk off the light up. Clear buildings at E9 oh, and H. Just, just. Oh, oh rubber. Stupid, but go. Don't stop. Don't stop. How did? Oh, oh no. There you go. Dorf is right. down right. finally after 11 kills. Wait, is there another one in Where there? Where the fuck is this? There is no one else in there, and they've got a clear Alpha Guido and Salty Potatoes building. No, what was the, uh... I only got a couple more minutes to do it, too. Echo 998 and Echo... Alpha building, right? Yeah. Yep, that's Alpha's building. They gotta clear out Alpha. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like Nightmare's just gunning. He's like, screw it. <laughs> oh, Alpha, go back. You were in the perfect spot like Dorf. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess there could be two fucking buildings of it. I know the <laughs> position I'm gonna start holding in Stop. pub games. Nah, face it, dude. You neither one of us would survive like Nor Dorf did. I'd somehow miss every single shot. Well, it ain't this one. And I you? Have faith in myself. <laughs> At least I do. There's one voting for me. Yeah, that's that's one yourself. Let's just I hear it. Let's go. I hear the radio. The radio yes. is not your yes. objective, though. I'm glad the rest of the team told us that it was. Oh! 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 oh Alpha Guido goes down because someone finally <laughs> thought about shooting the ceiling. Move, 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 move in. He killed himself. Move in. He blew himself up C4. Oh. I don't know. Hear if a helicopter, helicopter coming in. Him, but. The issue is the the radio is not the objective. You have still got salty shoot potato. Hard shoot shoot hard corners. Shoot hard corners. I got one nine five. Potato, liberal, hero be known, purple corgi. Yeah, you can shoot through the floors oh, he's, I think he's dead. He's and dead. damage through the wood. All right. Well, I told him with the C four. All right. Start dating. The only portion first. of this building that you can't shoot through are the walls because they're stone. Taking down the radio. Uh, I, I really want to go and look through the dock again, but I'm pretty sure the radio means Wait, nothing. What, what's that? Yeah, I should, I should, I'm gonna I should, agree I with you on that one, but they may have called an audible. That, but they haven't. Maybe. But they haven't said anything to us that they have to defend the radio. I have no idea. So, I still think that uh, us are gonna be in the clear for this one. Oh yeah, no, there's nothing that the uh, INS can do at this point. You've still got Liberal Guardian. Pundit. Oh yeah, you still got the three up there plus Salted Potato. 
Guardian, you better not make it so that you can't pen through a, through a wood wall. Don't you do that. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. That is an anti-modding. No. <laughs> That's the only way to either clear the building properly for these things. Is shooting through the wood floors. I will roll up a newspaper and come find you and hit you on the nose. I'll join him. And it's down. Alright, well, we cleared the buildings. Or, are you gonna make Watch pen damage for the stone walls? Like a building, one, one in one billion Michael chance? We ah, the there uh, you go. And yeah, that would be it. Okay. Alright. I can, I... Up there. You know what? I'll agree with that. Can they don't have destruction in this game? I will agree that pen damage up to a 50 cal or 50 cal and up can go through a brick wall. Because I don't think the dish Kateki can pen it. Nope. And it does not matter. Is that a helicopter landing? The helicopter is doing its yeah, rounds. There's and the uh, INS forces are like it shouldn't be able to land. Thinking that just because the radio's gone, that they uh, have stopped the uh, helicopter. All right, hopefully that'll force them to come up. I'm so I lost. No What's happening? Is there another building we have to clear? No, they. It's just these. This building here was one of the buildings, and it's the radio was in this corner, so that's technically part of Echo Nine Nine Eight. Yeah, you got, got the radio. You got know? quite the sizable delay between uh, so what, now? what we say and what Extract? you say in chat. So, commands go, come over comms. The U.S. forces now have to clear out the building that they cleared uh, Alpha Guido out of. U.S. forces have to push and clear it before the helicopter can land. Oh, boy. Uh, that's four U.S. forces versus... And Salty Potato, I don't think, knows. Oh, maybe he does now. Yeah, he's probably got a event admin giving him some uh, information. That's what my squad lead just told me, and we have to clear him out. Awesome. It's probably that thing that's just south of us across the river. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Hedda and. Our herb is uh, making their way towards salty potato. So do we clear all of these? Our herb is just not fearing anything behind him. Just standing out in the open with uh, Hero Be Known, Liberal Pundit, and Purple Corgi coming uh, down right towards him. my squad mates. So I know he's in there. But I'm going to try to get take the high ground open. Yeah. Yeah, salty potato heard him. And look at all the gnat swarm. He's dead. Jesus Christ. Oh, down and... there's Salty Potato. Sorry. <laughs> at least one of them are dead. Wait, what's so the building's clear. Ish. Ish? <laughs> it's clear enough. There's a dead body in there. All right, come up here. And there's the helicopter. Really slowing down on that overpass. Uh, yeah, they got a good LZ, so U.S. forces have to follow towards where the helicopter is going to land, and then they'll get picked up. No idea where that is now. I'll follow the helicopter. Well, here comes the helicopter again for another buzz. Oh, he's really slowing down this time. And it looks like the INS forces that would have left are taking pot shots at the helicopter. Helicopter is going to be landing over here in the uh, fields. This is not going to be good. Here will be known. He's to my left. He's to my left. He's to my left. 
And Hedda and Arherb have noted where everyone is. Down goes Purple Corgi. Hero Be Known has been spotted inside the building and taken down by Arherb. Liberal. And Arherb takes down Liberal Pundin. That is GG for round one. All right. No U.S. forces made it out, and we will see you in round two. Be back shortly. That's funny. Yes, what is it? Right. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys had fun last round. That was pretty interesting. Good job at the end. Hata and I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ar 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 Herb. Ar Herb. Ar Herb. Ar Herb. Gotcha. All right. So what we were doing, we were protecting this radio in this building that's right behind me. How we're going to do that is we're going to have Viper Squad up on the machine gun mark. Roman, up, Roman Orc Squad is going to be on infantry mark. You should know that area. Righty Squad, you're going to be out on the tank. And Rosa Squad, you're going to be on the helicopter. You're going to be out there. Be pretty... Uh, move around a little in those general areas that you have. Find out where the enemy's coming from. Hit them hard. Try to get them in the valley. If you lose any command comms, this is going to be the place to fall back to. Do it safely. Reminder to uh, start in the proper um, spawning location. Is it is it any of those four grids, or is it just the one that we're in right now? Thanks. It's any of the four quick. marked with the fob marks. This feels so Fob official. marks, you need to stay around the fob marks, like within 100 meters. Okay. Mr. President. Well, just... ROE is shoot on sight. Your the squad leader. It goes two, one, three, four. Is there any questions? What are you doing? Okay, by one. the way, if you die, you're done. Go ahead. So the radio last round we dug it up. It, like it didn't like do anything. So do we like actually have to protect it? Like, is there any negative, like, any consequences if we don't yeah. get it or don't protect it? For this round, we're gonna work. say this is this is our do or die spot. So, do we have to spawn in the last round? If they dig it up, they win. Uh, Shameful display. Let's say yes. The radio. Yeah, because it Shameful means like shame it. on you for letting them. Don't be. laugh and mock us. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, like the don't the radio. the radio gets dug up, you did something wrong. Yeah, well, see, I was last within, within the, radio. the radius. The last one to die should be me on the radio. Actually, no, take that back. We shouldn't die at all. all right, <laughs> well, great plan. Do we have to start? We're all gonna die, guys. Right? <laughs> that's like, uh, yes, that, 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 that's are... like insurgency bot level strategy. Remember the Alamo. Start within the farm. Let's not. Hey, guys, don't, don't die. die. Uh, um, anyway, what is the Alamo? Right. I'm not American. I'm wondering what you're doing. A bunch of Texans are protecting the area. That's what the Alamo really, is. Huh? Ask Boogie no, they didn't protect the area. Find Boogie, ask Boogie. So, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, they they, they failed guys. miserably. Alright, I'm gonna break my guys out. Alright, a bunch of Texan dudes. Hey, I meant it whenever I said you guys are free to move on in the series because they're gonna have mortars. Possibly, so. Yeah, I think the mortars are gonna be. Uh, they're rough, but... oh, oh, they're yeah, live. Oh, Ooh, man, we are dropping the ball all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wrong. Okay, thank you. It's because we don't accept cash here. <laughs> I think that's going to be a joke for a little while. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, U.S. is already up on top of the hill. I see a small team of five making their way. No, that's six. No, that, yeah, that's five. I had it right the first time. Dang it. I can count. I swear. Small team of uh, five. INS moving from the uh, northwest north side. Movement golf 10 six, six. It looks like a team of four for the U.S. moving up the golf hill 10, on the six, west. Six, oh, right, God. This is going to either be really good or really eight, bad for INS. I think oh, it's no. going to be very good. Sergeant, East. scope, scope, Sergeant, Sergeant. look, shoot. Piper, go ahead and guys spread out along that oh, grenade. Oh. oh, no. My God. No. Roman, be ready in case no. On the, uh, he did south not. Right here, in the south side right now. Oh. Soldier Wolfie, no, stop. Don't move. 
Take the shot. I think Roman I think you heard him. Take the shot. Yep. Soldier, they're right there. South, boys. I know you can see them. Take the shot. Why? <laughs> I'm getting too into this. Oh, the U.S. forces are going to get peeled over here on the uh, ridge line. Oh, down goes Big Rago. I'm not sure if that was a... And me. Those are two grenades. I think so. Oh, Big Rago actually accidentally team killed me. How? Oh, Big Rago died before me. Well, that's because he was in the middle of throwing a grenade, and the grenade uh, probably okay. didn't go where he wanted to. Can't help that one. No. Nope. Uh oh. He oh, that could have been really bad. Oh wait, is no, he's yeah, dead. We lost, uh, looks like there's a hole in our lines direct south of the. And uh, Rose Dragon's yeah, calling the hole in the this line is, now. This is squad one. We lost everybody. At Echo <laughs> squad one just lost their uh, that four man team gotcha. over here. To... Oh man. Honestly, look south to you guys because there's no way they're pushing the whole platoon just through that one area. Rose, I want you to go ahead. I think Merrick just called in a danger close, close mortar, mortar mission. Dealey's calling in mortars close. And it looks like Rosa is uh, making their way up onto Viper. Oh, US and INS just pushed right in the exact same spots. Oh yeah, and we've got mortars dropping down on top of Viper's position. And one hit purple corgi. Oh, Hopefully yeah. he can bandage up. INS pushed properly. They uh oh man. They have taken over the entire ridge line. Uh I think the only place they haven't taken is that far western grouping of four for the US. But uh they've pretty much taken the ridge line from Viper. Uh, contacts are on the far side of the ridge from one. I think they what, took this entire south ridge away from the U.S. Oh, they did. They did heavily. Ow. And see, the INS forces still have this six-man team rolling down the uh, western side of the uh, ridge. Western ridge. Yeah, Jack was pushing his squad up north so that they didn't get shot at going up the the gap. Uh, even though he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have gotten down, shot. Got Actually, water. you know what? If he would have went up there, Soldier Wolfie and them would have spotted everybody. That's just how it works. Your Nightmare and D-Leak are just sitting right outside Soviet Piggy and uh, SDMD Jackson. Right to Jackson. Oh, down goes... Kuhana. And insult to energy... Injury... Yeah, wow. Injury... Grenade. One, I've got infantry to your southeast along the ridge line. Roger. We Granada. Pushed, yeah. They, we didn't expect them to push No, us, that so was a lat. Slow. That was Hedda with a oh. lat. I think that's Hedda with a lat. Yeah, Definitely well, looked like it was Hedda. Yeah, Hedda with a lat. Right taking off the uh, ridge line to the south from down in the gully. Back over to Nightmare. Nightmare is being rolled up. And down goes Jackson. Not our Jackson. A different Jackson. Just a Jackson. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Yeah, the U.S. forces got rolled on the, the uh, ridge line. That is... That's going to hurt them. Bad. Uh... It'll hurt them until the INS start trying to push down the hill because the U.S. forces still have two squads pretty high up and can see them pushing down that hillside from across the valley. Yeah, but you got to keep in mind the INS also has the... As long as they can hold that ridge line, they get that second 
uh, wave. Oh, yeah, that is true. And you've still got that uh, element of bed. INS out to the uh, north. With Bartok and Nuclear Twister moving up on the uh, northern ridge line for the U.S. I think D Leak and looks like D Leak, your nightmare, and Dashby are going to pull back. Yeah, that is not a good place for them to be. They don't have respawnability like the INS. Yeah, especially since there's only three of them and an unknown force on top of the ridge. And we've got constant fire coming from down inside the gully up to the ridge line. And then you've got uh, also crosstalk between the uh, northeastern ridge line with the U.S. forces on top and the south ridge line with the INS. This is kind of interesting. Much faster than the first round, though. That, that's correct. I mean, we're still sitting at eight kills for the insurgent forces for some and nine for the U.S. So, I guess you could say it's even, even though INS get another round of wave, or a wave. Yeah. Spawns. It's not looking too good for the United, for the U.S. I mean, think about it. They've lost nine people, or actually they've killed nine people. They've lost, uh, I can't go by that count. That's Ten carrying now. over. Yeah. They've killed 10 INS, and the INS has killed 7 of them. That's not good, but it's not bad either. Mortars incoming. It's going to rely heavily on uh, 2 and 3 this round. Mortar is dropping in on Silver's position, but far out and not really going to hit anyone. And yeah, they just corrected oh. mortars. That's a widespread drop. And it looks like Silver, Block F16, and his little. Group there have peeled off that hilltop, so that's gonna protect him a bit. Yeah, we can make maps on our east too. Yeah, another lat out. I don't know who shot that one. I think that was chicken. Not sure what he was shooting at. Looking at the ridge line uh, south southwest of the uh, fob. Not really much there other than Guardian and Rated Red. Three, three, take eight contacts from the northeast. And it looks like the INS forces have finally started uh, fighting the US forces over here on the eastern ridge. They have called out the INS forces from the east. Don't forget about, yeah, Hunt and Bartok and them have gone way... Oh way yeah, they are north. really trying to get behind them. Squad 2, That's keep like holding your time. far south west, please. Squad 1's going to move to flank for Squad 3. You just got to... Your... Yeah, your, you go. your best bet is to three, check it grid. like... Two or three times a day. Check it in the morning when you first wake up. Check it around whenever you eat lunch, and then check like right before you eat dinner, and then you know four times, and then right before you go to bed. Eventually, you'll just catch it. Yeah, we try to keep the posting of the ops and whatnot random to timing. It's just to keep people from signing up and sucking up positions and not showing up. Well, that and just bogging down the. A website. Oh yeah. I just camp in it. We're not Google. 
We don't have that kind of uh, bandwidth. No, definitely not. I don't know, but I got a sneak peek at some uh, new stuff. And it looks really nice what uh, Silence it got going It does. On. It does look nice. It looks sleek and new. Yeah. Well, I mean, our our current our website's not that bad, but shots from our could use some some streamlining. Yeah. We got we have Mercedes now, and we're going over to no. Ferrari. <laughs> That's one way of saying it. Or if you watch F1, you're going from Ferrari to Mercedes. That's true. Honestly, I really should just get into watching F1. I love it. I'm so addicted. Ah, uh, true gearhead. Uh, so I gave up on that uh, that weed whacker. Oh, I bought one. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and, uh, I mean, yeah. And then I instantly flooded the uh, cylinder. I got it. Young man. The thing about two cycle is they're extremely, extremely finicky. Oh yes. You cannot flood yeah, them. Sure. You've also got to remember to mix in oil with your gas. Or you just buy the pre-mix from steel. Eh. TM. Eh. And it looks like the U.S. forces are pulling off the ridge line. They are giving it up. They need to pull back. I see Jack Jenkins yeah. and Lance a lot already inside the town. They're losing ground as we go. Looks like Bartok and his little merry brand, merry band, are going to be taking up the ridge line that they pre the U.S. previously held. Yeah. So the INS are taking the ridge lines, and have they gotten a new spawn in? Uh, they have spawn ins. They haven't pushed out yet. I think they're waiting for more. Yeah, they can spawn in, they just have to wait for the word to push out before it becomes a second wave. Alright, I'm out of the UAV here soon to spot out guys for you. Guardian, Money Man, and no, Rated Red are really keeping so uh, the uh, group right on the, the, the uh, FOB for the US side yeah. just keep trying to take them out up here on the hill. I don't know if that made any sense of what just came out of my mouth. <laughs> like that was verbal puke. Yes, have some. <laughs> and we got some U.S. forces just got wiped out. This is reason trying to take over. Lancelot and uh, Jenkins alongside Jack. Roger, try to hunker down in whatever buildings you can. Hubbin's just hiding in the middle of a field right now. Best place for him. They'll never yeah. see him. Nope. I did right, notice. Did they uh, change the way uh, foliage works now? They changed that like three versions ago. Hmm. Basically can't change it I think it's but I do think it's tied into uh, distant shadows and uh, textures but you really can't just like delete the foliage like you used to be able to yeah I used to do that when I wanted to go try hard <laughs> hiding in a bush uh -uh, there's no bush there Exactly. Oh, I never hide in bushes. I hide around the trees. Oh, no bush looking. Not in this game. I love it. I miss the old bush wookie. Oh. Uh, uh, bad company too. Oh. oh. One. 
before they made the sniper glint. Oh, hell. God. In hardcore mode, playing as a sniper? Oh. Nope. <laughs> Kills galore. You gotta admit, though, that if most hey, buddy, games that you know, implement a sniper sure into it, if they don't yeah, put that, that sniper glint on, that sniper's gonna stay up for the rest of the round. Unless you're playing King yeah, Fortress. To where one was. Uh, it depends on the game. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Right, Ooh. The position of Raggy, they're up on top of that. Is that a lat round on here? I Obinette? think that was. I think that was chicken. And mortars are gonna get called in, I think, on chicken and oddball's position. Oh, that's not good. Rather, Scottish chaps moving pretty fast towards them if there's mortars coming in. He's Scottish. He'll make it. Eh. They're hard as nails. You mean like Daniel after he went to the bathroom and uh, got blown up by a mortar strike? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't his fault, though. Someone told him that this is a good time for a break. <laughs> but come on, who would go died. on break during a live one one life event? Oh, rather Ooh. Scottish chap. Good shot. Rose, do you have any guys in those buildings that's just north of that little lake? Uh, negative threes there. My guys are all, uh, further north. Yeah, it looks like the mortars were a little right. off. Just a tiny bit. I'm trying to spot guys on that ridge line. No, At three, you got contacts see. about 50 meters north of you at the low ground. I think Bartox. Oh! God bless, I just said his name. <laughs> and he died. Haha, <laughs> not this. me. Get, get, get me out of this alternate universe. Get me out of it. <laughs> It's not fun anymore. <laughs> See, I'm the one who should be having network issues. That was my shtick. Saying people's names was also my shtick. You've stolen all my things. That's it. I quit. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I'm done. I'm out. Where's out? Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> I was taking shots from our west north. Does that mean 2020 wasn't a complete waste in this universe? Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna ignore 2020 for now. Until 2021. Just gonna call it a hard reset. Hey, JD. Welcome to the stream. Currently, we're waiting for one team to die. Guess which one we're waiting for. All right, there's still guys on Not the sure. ridge line heading you don't, north. You don't, get a, you don't get a prize. <laughs> you just get to guess. Copy that. Fox Ooh, yeah. Battlefield 2022. I don't think I've heard any good Part things about 2020, 2022. Wow. Two, 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 two. Could be, uh, could be ten times worse. Command, do you want one to start falling back, or two to fall back? JD, or two, or just I'm off? just gonna say that, uh, that was a typo. Uh, I only We're gonna <laughs> go with that to typo. I'm pretty sure that was a typo. No, I think you guys are doing pretty good on keeping them off right now copy that there's a lot of them just north of threes guys in that low ground valley east of me are you you're not on that uh oh yep I see. Fox trot eight two seven i'm gonna assume the okay, ins has moved in their second wave uh, they're waiting for them now to catch up with everybody else. Copy. I don't huh. think uh, you can see two Dishkatekis coming in. 
Oh, okay, I see it. They don't really have much further to go to take out the U.S. forces. Oh, I saw those two guys there. I'm going to start looking along the ridge to the south. Well, I mean, they are pushed out pretty far, like last time. Oh, yeah. If INS pushes too far in, Got they're just going to get caught from behind. I think that's what U.S. forces might be ambling on. Waiting for them to... Uh, Push past them? I don't have eyes. I'd try that. Put them in your. Let them walk into your own kill box. You know, I just thought about something. I want to know how they're going to handle archiving this on the YouTube channel. Roger. Guys are starting to get on the southern ridge. Are they going to splice your your bit into the beginning of this bit? Yeah, they'll splice mine. I put like a little blurb in there of uh, Wilbur. Oh. <laughs> Wilbur's, Wilbur's horrible. <laughs> Anyone other than Rose have command comms? Uh... Yeah, I'm up. I wish we had more time when editing the uh, the archives to actually do little things like that. Oh yeah, gotta, or at least gotta... freedom, freedom to do it. Because yeah. I think there yeah, is enough that time to do it, but it's just generally you just cut it up, get rid of the blank spots, and uh, apply the intro and outro, and that's it. Ooh, speaking of that, I need to complete those. INS forces moving into the center of the valley. Three, there's a. Uh, our command, there's a lot of contact east of two. We're falling back to this town. Gotcha, they're starting to smoke heavily on our Nightmare. Position. How? Fire, so I believe they're making a okay. Yeah, he's still say. alive. He is still alive, but I don't understand how. And didn't he start on the opposite side of the valley and then push across, and then now he's going yeah. back to it? Yeah, pretty much. He is back over here with Dashby. I'm trying. Trying to stop this uh, INS force from pulling into the center of the uh, valley. And down goes Dashby. Well, the funny thing is he's pushed from one side of the valley to the other side of the valley and got back to the other side of the valley into a building through INS forces. Yeah. This is welcome taking over for two. Uh, we just lost road. In the Ooh, I didn't see this. The INS forces are on the FOB area. Wolfgang is surrounded. Oh, down goes Wolfgang. No more command for the U.S. Yeah, Jack called him out and said that he was up. He kind of led the forces up into that building saying that, hey, there's a guy in the two-story building around you. Oh, great. This is Jazuku. Yeah, Jewel Zoo. I'm going to call you Jewel Pod. <laughs> we got injuring Axis over here. Uh, it's the last one on the FOB location. Honestly, I want to see if they can, if the U.S. forces can still survive until the helicopter shows up, how they're going to mount the helicopter. Well, they're not going to survive by going out in the balconies. No, definitely not. And it looks like Nightmare has been wiped off the map. U.S. forces have pretty much been split down the middle. I can't even say that actually. I can't. I can't say they've been split down the middle because it looks like injuring Axis is about to go down over there. Yeah, if he's not already down, I can't really tell from this distance. Oh, uh, pony! Nope, he's still up. 
Shoot through the floor, everyone. Shoot is through the floor. Liberal pundits still up. Ah, uh, that is a good question. Let's see. What team liberal, was liberal on? No, liberal is down. Liberal oh. was on your side. Oh. Wait. No. Or no. Wait. Oh. I might be wrong. The great and powerful liberal. medic has died. Yeah, liberal's not in, up anymore. I don't know. I, I think he was on your side. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm I pretty think. sure he was. Because he was he was on the INS side last time. Ah, yes. All discombobulated. This is Fork Room. Anyone still on command that? I just want to go back to playing uh, Skyrim VR. It's a nightmare, but it's a fun nightmare. I don't think I could handle that game in VR. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I can't handle the game for desktop just because there's so much to do. But it definitely, after installing a couple mods on it, and by a couple I mean like 10, um, and they're mostly just visual fixes and uh, bug fixes, uh, it definitely, at least for me, makes it more appealing to play. Got one enemy south, like what happened? It's like oddballs down to nothing but a pistol. Ooh, that is. Uh, I think I Wait a second, does an oddball sure. always get down to a pistol? Someone needs to learn how to conserve their ammo. Yeah, maybe. And down goes block by don't get shot. And I'm not sure who just shot that lat or grenade. I think it was a grenade. Let's see here. We've got Oddball Lagar. Is Endring Access still alive over there? Uh, yeah. Still up next to the radio. Dang. So, three, four, five, six. Six U.S. forces still alive. I don't Tinkerbell. know where Oddball is oh. with a pistol. I'm not sure if that was a disconnect or not. I swear I just saw someone disappear from the game. But I'm not seeing a disconnect sign, so there's a dead body up here, so I'm assuming he died from something. Oh, well, that was me 50. That was definitely not a money man, maybe. Oh, oh. money man and meep just disconnected. So maybe you're right. Imona's down by Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's shot by actually no. Oh, Oddball's got the marksman kit. That's why he was running around with a pistol. Ah. Actually, I don't know who took down Tinkerbell. Huh. Oh, uh, can you link the uh, opdoc in there? Yeah. Can you remember the command? Uh, oh, well, for the op, we don't have one for the op dog. I thought oh, that's right. We don't. Yeah, sure. that's right. Yeah, because the, the the link changes all the time. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if we could do something about that. Uh, we'd have to change it each time. That's true. This is easier. Control V. Or yeah, Control V. But uh. For this mission, it was a attack and defend. The U.S. forces are defending, at least until extract one hour of survival, and uh, the INS are sh pretty much throwing as many people as they can at the point until the uh, U.S. forces die, as the brief of this entire event. Yeah, we're almost finished with round two. There's only three U.S. forces left. Four U.S. forces left. Is injuring Axis even there? Uh, let me go check, see if they're moving. I'm wondering if they've gone AFK, because I don't think they've moved uh, from that I spot. Mean, uh, they're moving. Just zoomed in. They're moving around. What's hanging out of the wall, but... Oh no, no one's gonna see it. 
Well, even if they did see it, it doesn't really matter. You're not supposed to... Shoot through it. Yeah. Here it be known... Just had someone run past him. Them. Probably needs to turn their sound settings up a little bit. Look, I'm deaf regardless of what I do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I went and did an audiogram, I would uh, probably fail it with a 50%. Yeah. I haven't failed one yet. If I don't start wearing uh, ear protection while using my weed whacker, <laughs> I will. I already have... What's that... Uh, What's it called when you have loud noise in your ear? Shoot. Um, Tinnitus? Yeah, there we go. Always forget it. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, the ringing in your ears yep. always. Yeah. Yep. So it looks like it's down to Fulcrum and... Oh, who is it over here? Uh, it's just Fulcrum. Adrian Axis. Oh, that's, yeah. That's oh, right. and Lagger. Lagger. Lagger's Three left. Up. Yeah, laggers up on top of the hill. Oh, I hiding see. in a bush. Ah, good for him. Sadly, where the helicopter is probably going to land, it's not good for him. It depends. Doesn't the helicopter can choose where they want to land, right? If they have the helicopter option. Ooh. I really wish I had listened more during the brief. Guardian, you jump to your death? Come on. Don't do it. Back away from the edge. Yow, my friend. Yow. That is... That sucks. Tinnitus is no joke. Especially when you're trying to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm going to catch everyone up on top of this hill, not looking. No. No. Oh, I'm, he sees him. You said his name. He saw him. He's going to go up that way. Merkluff. There, I said his name backwards. Hopefully that reverses the issue. <laughs> Oh, they're trying to send rockets into that second story window where the radio is. Fulcrum's Ooh. coming up behind him. Knife him. Don't use your gun. Just Way knife him. Way too many people to knife. Just put no. it on full <laughs> auto and hold the trigger. Oh, they're all downhill from him, too. Silent knows that he's there. Silent heard him. Oh no! We oh! Didn't. <laughs> oh no! Nuclear twister! Oh man! Alpha called him out. Called his exact position underneath the canopy. Fallen Apollo is just really pushing him. And he gets out. Ooh, he might be able to get up Last behind. Hunt turns around. Gentleman's duel. Nah. And, and he moves away. That's another one. 
complete nuclear twister. Good lord. Oh! Downed by... I think that was Soviet piggy or don't get shot. Tigers left. That's it. Well, if he can keep hiding in that bush, he should be fine. Maybe. It depends on how the event admins handle that. Gentle nudge with a artillery call in. No, they they shouldn't because he's defending. He doesn't need to go towards them. The INS needs to go towards him. So what they'll probably do is huh. um is uh give a general area yeah. that they need to search. Albeit, I do miss the uh, the occasional mortar drop on a deserter. Not so much of a deserter, just not moving fast enough. Well, sometimes they're not moving in the right direction. Stop digging, stop digging. I tell you. And Lagar just talking to himself. Oh. I could just shoot off a GL into it. Yep. Got another one. Well, they should have a general direction of where they are now. Or where Maybe. Lager is now. You gotta remember, the uh, GL doesn't make a lot of noise. It makes that thunk noise, but if you're not really paying attention, you can't really tell where it's coming from. Yeah, no directional sound. Yeah. So he could be anywhere within a 180 degree uh, position from that window to get that shot. That's a pretty wide area to cover. Alpha's calling sweep up towards the hill towards the GL. But then again, I haven't been very good at predicting things anyways. Alpha Guido. Is he Alpha's going? Alpha's going to find it. Are you sure? He's not yeah, looking in that it. direction. He's looking way above Lagar right now. I have no idea what they're shooting at. Prepare to build it. Just, yeah, pre-firing, wall banging up through the floor. I guess that Alpha's works. moving closer. He is. I also noticed that he has got his hands in the wrong position. The binocular glitch. Oh, not for me. Yeah, on my end it is. His come his on, rifle's just pointing up into the air. Damn you, squad. Damn you. Why can't you work normally? They're slowly, slowly getting in on him. Two minutes until the helicopter, so they do have helicopters. Oh, Lagar, That's no. One. Oh, but Alpha Guido thinks he's further up. There goes Ooh, Alpha Guido. Trade. And Lagar down. And that is GG. All right. And we're going to go over to... 
Well, my calendar's not right. 